Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtutorial Channel. Okay, uh, this time around I want to show a little bit of comparison uh, between the two uh, rough CTR anniversary. Recently, both I think recently uh, released. I, I can't say they released at the same time. Almost real, uh, AR box, and also from Mini GT. So uh, there is a huge price price difference uh, between it both in retail prices. Um, so I thought. It would be great if I can just you know show you the difference and you can make a decision which one do you need to get. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, this would be in the shape of a Porsche, and uh, yeah, for Porsche collectors, this this is something that I think uh, uh, should be in your collection as well. Okay. So uh, before I, uh, uh, I I start right, um, this one actually I covered it already. The rodeo, uh, rough rodeo. So actually, this one came out even earlier than the. This is actually from uh, almost real box. So this one actually came out even earlier, uh, even before this uh, this blossom yellow was released. So this two is actually the the more recent. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it a new chassis, uh, based on the 1987 very successful uh, yellow bird. So this was actually done in uh, 2017. Yep, the, uh, the anniversary chassis version. Okay, from Ruff. So, uh, I already got it, got them out of the box. Okay, here we go, here we go. Both are already in my hands, out of the box. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's already out of the box because I do live unboxing over at uh, Collectors Cube, okay, Q -U -B -E. okay, on Facebook and also on TikTok. Do look us up there. That's Q U B E. Okay, I um, any of my additional uh, ready stock items, I I place it with them as well. So they are the ones that handle uh, any of my um, extra stocks that I have. All right, <clears throat> so uh, box wise, Mini GT comes in a very standard Mini GT box. Okay, so it just show you at the back, right? Um, the official name: Ralph CDR Anniversary Blossom Yellow Left Hand Drive. This will be number three five eight. Man, the numbers are getting higher and higher. <laughs> That's number three five eight. Okay, I'm just gonna put it at the back, and then almost real comes with a nice acrylic box. Now this one is a different size compared to Tarmac and Eno uh, sizes, even with the initial model sizes. So yeah, you won't be really be able to stack this on top of the, the rest of the brands. Okay, there's a QR code uh, under license, okay, so you know that this is actually a licensed product. Almost real. Um, this one states 1005, so 1005 pieces was made. This is one of the 1005 pieces, 1500 pieces okay so box wise you get a more premium uh, display box okay with uh, almost real okay you can just stack it at the back you can still see it right okay so out of the box here we go on my left on my right okay this would be almost real okay this would be from almost real and on my left this would be from mini GD okay so maybe since we're looking underneath right Pretty much uh, very bare. Uh, Mini GT is really very bare. <laughs> I'm wondering what, what is this detail down here? Is it possibly the engine cover? Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Um, even here underneath the almost real right, there is a little bit of a detail, uh, pretty much quite similar as well. So at least it gives you that, that exhaust detail down there, right? The two pipes on the left and right. Uh, Mini GT, nothing at all. Uh, both are riveted by screws. Okay. So, what what can I say? Possibly it's a, possibly it's a, um, engine cover. That's why, that's why it's like that. Okay. All right. So now, coming back on top, uh, I'm gonna look at. The front first, okay. So almost real came come with the uh, the plates, okay. At this is that CTR? Yeah, it's a CTR. <laughs> I was wondering what alphabets are those. Yeah, it's a CTR number plate. Uh, for the for the almost real with the rough logo on top on the nose. Okay, say um, yeah, the mini GT doesn't have the plates, but it has the rough logo on top. Okay, the and I think it's a petrol. Is it a petrol filler or is it engine oil cover? Yeah. What what is this cover? Okay, I uh, 
Yeah, don't know what covers this. If you do know, please do let me know in the comment section below, okay? Alright, so both has it. It's just that almost real is a little bit more obvious. Possibly because Mini GT ones, right, is um, the paint is much thicker compared to almost real. You can feel that uh, the paint is a little bit thinner. That's why you can see the groove. I don't think it's done on purpose. It's just that um, the paint is thinner, not as thick as, as Mini GT. Has, has made it to be um, okay so that's the front uh, headlamps very similar but uh, the overall shape I think almost real uh, that's the thing one is okay we're gonna go to the side and then we see the angle uh, of the of the slant of the headlamps okay so the top one would be mini GT the bottom one would be almost real okay hang on let me just Let's try to hold it with both of my hands, right? <clears throat> I'll just try to angle it so we can see it proper. So pretty much, oh, the angle looks similar. Because Mini GT overall uh, is bigger, and um, actually, on the onset, right, when I'm, while I'm holding this too, right, the Mini GT version is quite heavy. It's quite solid. I, I'm going to guess that it's because of the metal base. Uh, while almost real gave a plastic base so it feels very very light compared to the mini gt so that there is quite a bit of a weight difference between the two so now when i put it side like that right then you can see the yellow difference is actually quite big all right and i just realized mine is it a qc issue wise i do have a little bit of stain on the back wheels okay so rims are pretty much the same design uh, At least the almost wheel has a little bit of a disc brake detail in there It does look like it's a blacked, uh, blacked out D disc brake But I don't see a caliper I don't really see a caliper Okay um, What I like about a Mini GT would be there's two stage You can see the inner barrel of the rim Okay, that's the part that so it gives it a uh, more depth to the rib to the rims, right? Okay, so I do quite like that about the Mini GT version. Um, front bumper, the the, fem, the the front bumper detail here. This would be, I guess, the indicator lights or or the fog lamp. So this one, at least, it has a groove. It's it's uh it has an indent. Uh, Mini GT just printed something on top of it. Okay. So, sorry, I, I'll just go back to the front a little bit more, right? Because I just noticed the grill. Um, the grill, definitely more fine details on the almost real compared to Mini GT. They did the grill as well, but not as fine as the almost real. But uh, not bad. Not bad. So, we go back to the side. Uh, that's the front part and the rims are covered. Door handle, both are visible. Side mirrors, um, very, very similar. They are really very very similar Okay, and then we talk about the back bumper The tail lights The Mini GT version does look a little bit more um, realistic If you can if you can say that And it goes all the way um, This one it does as well but Somehow Yeah Both has a different way of executing the silver part of the tail lights Okay. The Mini GT version does look cleaner actually, the finishing does look cleaner. Um, and then we look at a bumper, again Mini GT just printed on a solid surface basically. I don't feel any groove or anything, um, but the rough version, rough version, is that no this one is also printed solid. But somehow I think because the print is um, finer. So it looks a little bit more realistic, I guess. Let me just try to feel it out. Uh, yeah, because the front part, they did that, right? They did it proper. So the back, I want to see if... No, it's just a solid... It's a print on a solid um, back bumper. Um, yeah, it's a print. But somehow, I think I think because the print quality... It probably a higher print quality. So that's why... It feels like it's a, it's a different layer compared to Mini GT, it's just flat. Okay. I think it's just flat. Um, so, exhaust, 
if we look at it from this way right the exhaust i think almost real did a better job at it okay and oh yeah uh <laughs> i have a paint chip on my mini gt so annoying yeah it rarely happens nowadays i think from mini gt i don't i don't really hear a lot a lot a lot of qc issues but it does happen still um, but yeah i do have mine with a paint chip okay and i'm uh, gonna look at the back spoiler right so that's underneath both are <clears throat> well i can say it's fully covered with paint if we go to the top mini gt did a more uh chunky um, intake okay with the engine cover compared to almost real almost real has it really very fine okay i'll just tell you what's the difference right you can judge uh which do you prefer so there's an intake on the back fender uh it does look like almost real did a better job it, it looks cleaner it really looks like it's an intake that you know air can actually flow in um, the mini gt ones does look it's a little bit done a little bit more rough all right so that's the back spoiler so overall shape right the mini gt does feel bigger um i think wider and longer as well so i'm, I'm looking at it, at it like that right and when I put the wheelbase together so the almost real version does look like it's a little bit shorter and um, and the Mini GT seems to be a little bit wider yeah there we go see it's a little bit shorter okay and if we go can we do that yeah it's it's actually slightly wider just a little bit wider okay all right so Proportion wise, that's the thing. If if I put it alone, right, it does look quite good when it's alone like that. And when this is alone, it does look quite <laughs> good as well. Uh, I do quite like how steep the the winch screen is. It really is. Uh, I think uh, really a replica of the real thing. Oh, uh, the wiper. It's separate. It's a separate piece. So this one, the almost real, definitely looks a tad a little bit more realistic compared to mini gt but then again uh, mini gt is just a fraction of the price of the almost real so i think um you really get what you pay for but if it's double the price you know if you're not really that into little details then i think mini gt is just fine but if you want more details uh i think the rough would would do a better job okay uh interior wise because everything is all blacked out i we, we can't really see we can't really make a difference of it um, I would expect I would expect almost real to do a little bit more detail on the inside because of the price but uh, no they just uh, left it all blacked out okay I can see a little bit of glare gear lever the handbrakes the steering wheel they are there uh, mini GT I guess it's yeah it's there as well they do look very similar in the interior on both so possibly um, Possibly they, they were given you know the, the, the blueprint maybe maybe and um, immediately shrink it down but somehow I think this would be I will call it a mini GT size because they're not really 64 scale I don't think they are true 64 scale models um, but almost real uh, that's the thing because they are 118 scale stuff is really very nice um, yeah so they are 164 I can't really compare uh, and, and tell you guys if this is a true 64 scale okay all right so uh, interesting to see more rough stuff coming out para 64 has already done the rough uh, quite some time ago but I believe that it's actually based on a 19, 19 um, six, 1987 version uh, the yellow bird I'm just double checking yep that's actually under the yellow bird so rough anniversary version the 2017 version i i'm gonna take a guess um that this will be the first time um it's made in 64 scale correct me if i'm wrong let me know in the comment section below okay so uh that's it for this time around um <clears throat> i'll put a link to 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 this video that, uh, that i've done really i think this was done really very nicely from from almost real uh mini gt will be doing it as well so four wheel drive porsche meant to go off-road so i'll look forward for the mini gt version and uh, i'll compare it for you guys as well all right so uh that's it for this time around and um do hit the like button because that helped me out with the youtube algorithms look us up at uh cube 
okay we're on facebook and on tiktok all right uh they have their own website as well coldcube.com check them out uh hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my other diecast videos that's it for today thank you so much for watching guys take care bye